and this will probably be like a couple part um, Um, this will probably be like a couple part uh, series, just trail riding. Um, let's go for the hill. So I'm going to get a... Um, I'm not sure what to get. I'm going to get... Uh, the CCS TC Jeep, um, Tomcat Jeep XJ, uh, one of my favorite Jeeps, pretty much. What else should we get? Obviously, the F100. Um, since I have so many cars, so I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Brute Bronco 6x6. Let's start a new game. And yeah. So I'm just gonna out through all the cars. And I'm going to turn this off. I'm probably going to drive the Bronco. Boggers, yeah, boggers. So we are going to do some trail riding in the Bronco start off with and we'll probably do some of the XJ and then the F100 last as I have, oh jeez that's loud as I have already done a video on that oh no get back up get back up get back up yes I am running low on fuel but I suppose we'll do some stuff and oh I really need to stop doing that um I suppose we will have a bit of a go in this and then we'll switch to switch to the other Jeep and I'll switch to the Jeep because it, that's the only Jeep in the game in this map right now. So we'll do the first part with the Bronco, the second part with the Jeep and the third part with the F100. So I'm going to uh, switch it down into row three. Um. Okay, let's just have a look here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll take this route because I'm going to fill up on fuel. Just in case we want to continue in the Bronco sometime. So we'll take the Bronco this way and we'll take the Jeep the other way and the F100 another way as well. So we're not going the same way every single time so that it doesn't get boring. And um, I love this Bronco. Why did I do that again? Um,. I love this Bronco, it's a quite a good trail car, oh, trail truck, um, you can just ride trails with this for ages, um, Through the river. Oh, um, not that deep. Here's here's three axle bronco. Come on, mate. I just want to test. Yeah. 
So if all wheels is all wheels, obviously. If you take all wheels off, it's just the back two uh, back two axles that are actually um, spinning. So bring it up over here. This thing is, uh, this thing is really good suspension. I actually found this Bronco thanks to a spinitized YouTuber. He's by the name of Tomcat TC9700 Gaming. Um, I, I only just got spinitized like a couple of days ago and, um, I'm loving it. It's the best game I've ever had. Um, obviously, as I love off-roading, and um, I can't do that in real life because I don't have a license and I don't have a car. And on my Xbox, the car's just simply, it's not good at off-roading. There's no games on my Xbox that are good at off-roading. Um, or are off-roading games. Um, people say just like play Forza or whatever. Yeah, Forza is a good game for racing and drifting. Nothing else. Okay, fueled up and head off. Um, so this game is really a blast, and I could I thought that I would have to do so much stuff like um. It'd be so hard to download mods, so I'd have to stick with the normal cars. And, um, before this I only had one PC game, and that was American Truck Simulator. So if you want to see me play American Truck Simulator, put that down in the comments. And I will, yeah, I guess, put that out for you guys. Um, I am quite progressed in the thing. And I have put some mods on. Some. So I do slightly have like 200 and some, 282 million dollars and like 20 trucks in um, American Truck Simulator, but I'll probably stick to this anyway because this is a lot of fun. Um, but yeah. This, uh, I'm getting sidetracked on games and stuff like that. Um, Spronko is really good. It's not even complaining. Sit it in automatic and it goes through the mud easy. It's fast. It, oh gosh, I just put it uh, like 30 damage on it. It travels over sticks reasonably easily. Uh, unlike a lot of trucks that I have actually bought through here, um, or offered vehicles, um, vehicles, vehicles that I have bought through here, um, vehicles, however you want to say it, vehicle, vehicle, same thing. Um, but I've brought a, a few through here, um, and a lot of them could not take this, um, like the actual stock trucks that I I tried to do, uh, I tried to complete this map, and I couldn't do it because I couldn't get them to go up a hill. Simply, I couldn't get them to go up a hill. Uh, the hill at the very start of this one, the little trail bit that we're on. Um, but it's um, it's a good game. Yeah, it's a good game. It's good like his Bronco. I'm going to go right. Come on. The good thing about, oh, the thing about here is the ruts are so deep that it's hard to get your car out of them, like your truck or whatever. Your vehicle out of the ruts. It's hard to get your vehicle out of the ruts, but it's, um, 
this thing is just pushing through it in automatic. I'm probably going heaps faster if I was in below 3, which I'm actually going to do. Because I want to see if I can go any faster. I am going to go down here and over onto the water bridge and I'm going to um I guess finish this part finish the first episode of this um sort of little series trail riding um if you want to see me do it on any other map, just put it in the comments. And um, I'll always read your comments, no matter what. I'll always do that. If you have any suggestions, any cars you want me to try out, any trucks you want me to try out, anything you want me to try out. Although, um, I can only do the, the six maps that you get at the start. Um, as those are the only ones that I can get. Um, so, whichever one, if you want to see a truck, suggest it in the comments. And, um, yeah, these ruts are so big. Come on, power! Alright, I'm going to switch it back to like 3. That is not moving at all. Low 2 is the sweet spot right now. Um, I suppose I will end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys.